Good morning, good morning, good morning. God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. This is Vern Bryant, pastor of Hokessin United Methodist Church, welcoming you to another day of, or should I say another episode of This Is The Day. And I hope that you're having a wonderful and great day. Maybe hot outside, but that's all good. God is good. So our scripture lesson this morning comes from the book of Job, Job 11, 7. And actually it was Zophar, one of Job's friends, said, can you discover the depths of God? So I want to talk about that for a few minutes, discovering the depths of God or the mind of God. Let us pray. Gracious Lord, open up our hearts and our minds to hear what your word speaks to us today. May you be glorified through Christ our Lord, we ask and pray. Amen. You know, when we pursue a greater knowledge of God, we are on the adventure of a lifetime. God is so broad and 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 so mysterious in God's ways that when we start to pursue God, a, a knowledge of God, we are on the adventure of a lifetime. And what we have learned about God through our own experiences and through others and worship and all should give us a hunger to know more about God. As we learn about God and the way God interact in our lives daily, it should give us a hunger to learn more about God. So what are the, are the benefits of knowing God? You know, what are the benefits of knowing? One of the scriptures says that you forget not God's benefits. What are the benefits of knowing God? Well, there are four that I would like to touch on. The one is blessings. The more we know about God, the more we will experience God's blessings. Now, those blessings may not always be stuff because Lord knows we don't need more stuff. But <clears throat> a lot of times the blessings will be a deeper faith or, you know, uh, a stronger prayer life, or it may be discernment, uh, things like that, you know, um, not tangible things in terms of, <clears throat> you know, a big boat or a new house or car and stuff like that. The Lord can bless those ways, but a lot of times those blessings may come with spiritual things. So the blessings, we know the more we know of God, the more we will experience God's blessings. Um, also, we will experience peace. God will give us peace, peace of mind, peace of heart, peace with others, peace during troubles or when we're in troubled times. Uh, we will feel God's nearness. And that's a peace that passes all understanding. You may have people say that, <clears throat> well, knowing God, and knowing of God gives us peace, a peace that passes all understanding. In other words, no matter what we're dealing with or what we're going through, we know that God is there, <clears throat> excuse me, and it gives us peace. Also, another benefit is wisdom. Wisdom is seeing things the right way. Uh, God gives us wisdom. It's seeing things through a different lens. And God gives us discernment and shows us uh, things that we otherwise wouldn't know. That's the discernment of God. That's the wisdom of God. You know, a lot of times, you know, um, when folks don't have wisdom, they're hotheads and they want to rush right in and do something. But when God gives us wisdom, we may pause and say, you know what? I don't think that's the way that we ought to go. So God gives us wisdom. But then God also gives us freedom. Freedom um, from circumstances, emotion, emotions, and other people's opinion. God gives us freedom. Scripture says where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Freedom. So God gives us freedom to live the way God wants us to live. Now, there are other benefits to 
to following God. Of course, there's, you know, fruits of the spirit, the armor of God and so forth. But as we follow God and as we know God, God will impart to us things that God have for us to know and to learn and to live a successful Christian life. And let me add to what's for you is for you. God has already has it in plan for you. No one can take it away. So there is a blessing and joy in following God and knowing God. Zophar said, can you discover the depths of God? In other words, can you know God? There's a benefit in discovering God and knowing God who God is. Amen. Let's pray. Gracious Lord, continue to help us to be your people. Help us to know you as we continue on our Christian walk. Be with those who may be watching today and bless them, Lord, as they continue on their journey through Christ our Lord, we ask and pray. Amen. Hey, friends, it's been nice being with you today. I pray and hope that you have a wonderful week. Until next time, this is Pastor Vern saying you be blessed and be a blessing. Take care. Bye-bye.